Oh my god, these peppers are huge! There's no way I can just use them for... Oh, wait a minute. I made Spanish rice. Stuffed green peppers! Look at these Alright! Alright, got an idea what to make. An opponent hamburger, alright! Welcome to Cooking with Ben. We're making stuffed green peppers, baby. All right, so I got a pot of hot water boiling right there with salt in it. And then I got a pan over there with a little bit of oil, about two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to put a pound of hamburger in. And then I've got these huge green peppers here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the tops off, completely off, and then boil them in that hot water over there for about five minutes. These are some huge, huge green peppers. So I'm going to cut the tops off. And then I'll clean out the inside after I get all the tops of them cut off. All right, so my water's gonna be getting there. I've got my meat here cooking, just my meat, because I've already done my rice, which is over here. And I've got my tops cut off of my green peppers. And they're all de-seeded and cleaned out. Ready to be boiled and stuffed. I did keep the tops. I'll boil them after I boil these babies. And then I'll uh, cook everything together. So here's where I'm at now with everything. Alright, so my water is boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these four big ones in. Hopefully they'll all fit in there. I might do the last one last, or the last one last, but the small one last. Oh no, I'll be able to fit it in there. So I'll put the smallest one in there. I'm only putting the bottoms in there. We'll cook them for about five minutes to set the timer. Five minutes in salted water boiling. And I will do the same thing with the tops. I will boil them till they're soft. Probably not a whole five minutes because they're not as much, but I'll be doing that with the tops as well. All right, so the cheese I'm gonna be using to be topping my uh, peppers with is uh, sharp cheddar. <laughs> I pulled up this one. Sharp cheddar and then just habanero. And uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle just maybe a little bit of this and a little bit of this. I'm gonna combine them. And so just a little bit of both on top of the green pepper. And then uh, uncovered, I'm going to bake it until the cheese is nice, brown, golden, and gooey. Because like I said, everything's done. The peppers are boiled. There's no reason to keep it in there for 30, 40 minutes. We're just going to go ahead and put the cheese in. And uh, once the cheese is done, dinner's done. All right. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so five minutes have been up. I'm going to go ahead and throw these cooked green peppers into a nice little strainer there, and then I'll start cooking the tops. Still nice and firm, and one to rip. So once these cool, I'll start pouring in my rice mixture with the meat once the meat is done. But the meat is still cooking strong, so as soon as the meat's done, I'll start putting that in with the rice. It makes everything all together, and then, I'm sorry, go ahead and stuff the peppers. And I've got the tops in right now. And I've already got my cheese grated, ready to go. Habanero and sharp cheddar. Oh yeah, we're making some stuffed peppers happen. All right, so you do want to salt the inside of the green peppers. Give them a little extra little flavor, a little oomph. I'll actually probably do a little pepper as well. I'll just get that going. That way it wants to rice mixture gets in there and it's all cooked in there you got a little flavor as well in the 
green peppers. All right, so with my timer uh, being done, we'll go ahead and cook my, not cook, it's already been cooked. My spam, let's put my Spanish rice for my uh, green peppers were boiling in. Get all that all up in that pan there. I'm gonna throw my hamburger up in this baby. I already drained it and everything, so it's all good. And just mix everything around. All the flavors should meld together. I'll probably put a little extra little pepper and maybe some salt on there just to be safe and you know taste test it how it goes and then this is what's gonna be your uh, stuff that's gonna be stuffed in your pepper so this is getting stuffed inside your pepper. So I'm gonna get that all in there and meld it in together. It smells great. And you know the rice tastes great. Alright. Let that melt for a little bit. You know, I didn't forget to mention I do want to add a little bit of the tomato sauce. I'm not gonna add this whole can. I'm probably just gonna add just a little bit to kind of wetten up everything, make everything a little bit more wet. So it's not so dry, so I'm gonna put a, I wanna see a cup of this in there. One, two, three, yeah, it's a cup. And then stir this all around. Look at it, see where it's at. I'm gonna probably go ahead and add another half cup. You're thinking I'm crazy, but I'm not. This is definitely gonna be really good. It's gonna make it a little more, uh, a little juicier, a little bit more not so dry, where your rice can really dry out. Just gonna wanna wet it up a little bit. And this should be perfect. That's kinda of sticky. It's getting there. Just what we want. This is the perfect consistency right here. This is perfect. All right, see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna start stuffing. Check that out, nice soft pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it now. Skim the top off, make sure you get everything in there. Now believe me, you can fit a lot in the stuffed pepper. Just smash it as much as you can without breaking it. Not broke yet. All right, so I'm gonna call that one stuffed pepper. Right there. Go ahead and place that right in here at the edge and I'm going to continue doing the rest of them and I won't bore you with you having to watch me do that. All right, they're all stuffed and ready to be cheesed up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my white cheese first, which is my habanero. Get a nice little sprinkle all over here. Let it go everywhere. Don't worry about where it's going to end up at. It's going to go everywhere. It doesn't matter. And then the sharp cheddar. Ooh, doggy! Then you have all your little mixtures. You don't waste any of that good cheesiness goodness. And sprinkle it all around. Look at that. It's almost like a hot dish, you know, like a casserole or hot dish or however you want to say it. All right, let's pop that in the oven then. Pop that in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes. Set the timer. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to 20. Well, that's five eight. Never gonna hurt nobody. Plus, I check it out regardless. Usually, what I do on the uh, Stuff's in there cooking. I'll just go ahead and lay my top that I had boiled earlier. Still warm. I just go ahead and set that to the side here. Break that open a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and set a little bit of my remaining rice into the corner of this. About a spoonful. And just spread that around right there. 
And then I'll go ahead and set my pepper here. And boom. All right, so it's been done cooking now for about 30 minutes. Let's pull her out. Tasty. That there is like the best looking stuffed peppers you could possibly have. Habanero cheese and some sharp cheddar. Woo! Spanish rice, homemade in there. Mm. Let's plate this baby up and take a sample. All right, let's get this beauty a cut. Oh, it's a, such a stuffed pepper. Perfect texture. All right, let's give this a whirl, huh? Stuffed pepper. Oh my god. Well, wow. I don't know where it is. This is really good. This is delicious. The pepper is like perfectly cooked. It's still got a nice little texture to it. Not, that's not mushy. It's still got a nice little, it's not crunch and it's not mushy. It's just got a nice little flavor to it. When you bite into it, it's like, oh man, this is good. And then the rice, the rice not being box made is even better. Oh. Mmm. A can! A can! A can! Awesome recipe. Anyway. Ah, oh, I gotta put that away. Thanks for watching with Ben. That's my stuffed green pepper video. And I hope you like, sub, share, troll, comment, whatever you want to do. And I'll uh, see you guys soon. Peace out, scouts.